I'm Sophia, and I'm going to be talking to you today about Eric Fromm and how his love life affected the writing of The Art of Loving. Okay, so based on the book, I mean, The Art of Loving, and the stereotype of a good love life, his was kind of fantastic, basically. Um, he had three major partners before The Art of Loving, and all of them didn't work out in some way, which is why they separated. Um, the last one was the catalyst, so I'm going to mention her and just say that the first two were important to his personal development and growth and everything, but not really that pertinent to the art of loving itself as as the third one, so let's just keep her in mind uh, with more prevalence. Um, her, her last name, or first name, I forget which one, was Henny. She was terminally ill, and Fromm did everything he could for this woman. He would go to Spain because the weather was better for her health. He would take her with him. He would always well, take her with him on trips and stuff. He would always take care of her and c c cater to her needs and everything. He was very devoted. Um, I'm not sure if they got married. Uh, significant other, but she ended up committing suicide because it was too much to bear. Um, this whole discussion in class actually stemmed from Love and the Life of Eric from which I have part of the printout right here. It's in the back of the new version of The Art of Loving. I don't have that version. Mine is old and crusty, um, so I'm using the handout. But, um, it's sad that Honey's death forced him to accept his own limitations, his own failure. And that's really important to this next thing that, that I'm going to say in a bit. But anyway, he meets another person. Her name is Annis Freeman. She is different from the other people he dated. She's not career-oriented. She's not um, a mental health professional, which only applied to one of the people, but I digress. Um, she was from his socio-economic background, so she could relate to him on that level, and, and it, uh, led to interesting conversations between the two. Um, they were together for more than 20 years, which says something about the relationship. Um, It says something about his love changing from, from, like, a conditional mother's love to being able to blossom. I think that maybe before Annis, he'd been focused on winning the other person's affection and love rather than kind of letting it happen, which is what he talks about in this book, so it would make sense, but I'm not sure that's what, that's just what I think of. It says that this was a bit after The Art of Loving, and it was while he was still with Annis. Um, go back to um, being forced to accept his own limitations and, and failure. There's a quote in The Art of Loving that says, Whether there is harmony or conflict, joy or sadness, is secondary to the fundamental fact that two people experience themselves from the essence of their existence, that they are one with each other by being one with themselves, rather than by fleeing from themselves. So basically here he realizes that you can't pretend to be someone you're not and be in a relation. No. That's not right. Um, you need to put yourself into a relationship and not just try to be a part of the relationship. You have to be invested in the relationship in a complete and full manner. Um, and then later it says that it talks about how he or why he denied Freud's theory of everything being based on libido. Um, it says, Fromm saw the central problem of human 
uh, of the human being not in satisfying his instinctual needs, but um, rather in the human relationship to reality, which connects back to everything. Because if you have an accurate perception of your relationships and what's going on around you and how that affects the dynamics in your relationship, then you can take steps to patch up any problems or try to fix them or even prevent future ones. But at the same time, you have to be realistic based on certain dynamics and uh, certain quality of the relationship. This is likely and this isn't. And honestly, I think he needed the experience, the bad experiences, to be able to write about this with authority, because this way he knows what works and what is best, usually, because he's been through the whole range. Well, he was with the other two that I didn't really mention, but that's all that you need to know about them, so. Okay, um, I think that pretty much made sense, so, um, comment. Leave some feedback. Thanks for watching.